Yellow and 1060 Sean, Jack Septicize, my career mode. It's back on, it's been weeks since we've done this. So let's quickly refresh you. Jack was drafted to rule. He's had a lovely little chat with uh, Stephanie McMahon. And we've decided that Jack, you know, you don't you wanna you wanna watch where you step in your first couple of nights on the main roster. So we're siding with the authority at the moment. They've told us that Samoa Joe is their top boy. So they have instructed that we go and take out Seth Rollins. And that is making a raw debut. That is making a splash, ladies and gentlemen. Right, when are we going to run out? We also should add that our history of jumping people. Oh, wait, here he comes. Who? No, wait, 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 Corey. Who is that? That's Michael. That is Jack Septic Eye. He is a YouTuber with all the 15 million subscribers oh my god he is one of the biggest names in the whole of youtube saxton and jack look at this dealing the punishment and it looks like that jack whose history in these is checkered oh what is this nonsense what is this little half boston crab on the rampway less of that please And a nice little swing blade. Look at this, Jack making an impact on his main roster debut. Cartwheel head scissors into the ramp. Oh my goodness, the WWE Universe does not even know how to react. One of the best loved names in the whole of the YouTubing community attacking Seth Rollins. Why? Why is this happening? They're asking. Oh, look at that, nice little corkscrew red arrow. Surely we've won this. Is Seth Rollins not? Bit, is Seth Rollins going to come up and just knock us down now, and then we'll lose? Oh, winner Jack Seth guy. <laughs> so, so it's got okay. I genuinely thought that we were going to have lost that then. Samoa Joe, our new boy. He seems to be very happy with what has gone on here. I admit I had my doubts when Steph pitched her plan. I figured you'd fail hard, but you didn't screw up. Now we, we, I know. He, um, Joe obviously watches NXT. He's obviously seen us do those run-ins before. You were really, really adequate. It was an all right performance, I guess. I'm going to be honest with you, Joe. I'm with you. It was... If I had to choose, had to choose a word... What were we going to say to him? It would have been adequate. Um, Seth deserved every smack. Well, I have all respect for Seth's accomplishment, blah, 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 blah. You don't hold back, do you? Realize that when you were out there. That's a good habit to get into. You must have learned that from me. Talking hard, striking harder. Yes, Joe. Yes, Joe. His face might remember you if he can find it after what I put him through. Anyway, stick my shadow. Don't get in my way. Do whatever I tell you. Or what Steph tells you. That's all you need to focus on. Um. How did you become the best? Let's just be nice to people. Listen, I go, okay, right, fine. We get, obviously... Jack needs to know his role. That was a, a more worthwhile conversation than anything we've ever had with Baron Blade. So Joe seems happy with us, which is good news. Who's this chump? This is... It's not telling us. Okay. Exit the arena. Right, let's get out of here. Allow me to introduce myself, sir. My name is Paul Heyman. And there's Bray Wyatt lurking in the car park. Let's have a see. Let's have a chat and see what the Eater of Worlds has got to say. Oh, he's got a little twitch. At the upcoming pay-per-view, the guards will conspire to bring glory to the WWE. What will your role be? Will you play with the guards, or will you side with the demons? Just intelligible nonsense, really, from Bray Wyatt. Standard. <laughs> Standard Bray Wyatt conversation. Right, let's get out of here. Wait, is Near Jax the new car park attendant? Nobody respects me. Yeah, Near Jax does get a bit of a tough rap, doesn't she? Sorry, Near. Um, right, let's get out of here. Get me to next week. So it's Jack's first week on the job in the books. 
We beat up Seth Rollins. We made a friend of Seth Rollins. No. We beat up Seth Rollins. We made friends with Samoa Joe. That is the correct way round. Who is a bow? Hey, there's my man, Matt Rubio. Jump in the fence like my man Matt Rubio likes to do. Good to see that he's still hanging out with us on the main roster. There's a man who dabs on them haters. It's uh, TJ Perkins. Get off your phone, son. Jack Septicar, YouTube in royalty is here. Wow, quite the impact for your debut. I wouldn't have even tried going after Seth your first show in. Yeah, it's just... You're not... Yeah. Maybe if you'd have done that, TJ Perkins. You know, you'd be in a little bit of a bad position. Although, to be fair to old TJ... Oh, there's the back of his head. You see inside his brains. He did win the Cruiserweight Championship. He was the first Cruiserweight Champion, so... Gotta give him his props. What does Todd want, then? Todd, you seem stressed out, my friend. Sort of in a bind right now. Could use your skills tonight. If you haven't seen before, Todd Mullin seems to be in all of this. He seems to be well in with us. So the story goes, Mick made the stip... Who's Mick? Obviously Mick Foley. <laughs> Who's Mick? Uh, Mick's made the stipulation that if Seth gets ambushed before his match with Joe again, Joe will be stripped of his title. Good, good, good thinking, Mick Foley. What if it technically wasn't an ambush? What, like, calling Seth out and getting him to start something with you? Yes. Wait. Forget it. Mick placed his line in the sand. It's better if we twist his stipulation against him. Since Mick didn't say anything about going down during the match, our plan is to have you strike then. Isn't that still technically an ambush, Todd Mullin? Seth will still probably have his guard up before the match, but he definitely won't expect this. I'm pretty sure that's an ambush. That's an ambush, guys! This guy's more of an idiot than Baron Blade! Oh, you muggins. Group of mugs, the lot of you. Hiccup set, roll in. Hiccup set, roll in. Hiccup set, roll in. Drums, 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 drums. Guitars, guitars, guitars. Seth freaking Rollins, baby. This is the most excellent entrance music. And a voice, Sethy. And also, another on the uh, topic of uh, quality entrance music. Here he comes. The Universal Champion, Samoa Joe. Joe, we've made a good decision here. Be mates with Joe. Right, so when do we get, do we have to sit and watch these two chumps have it out? <gasps> oh, yeah. big suplex. Right, how do we get involved in this? That's Joe. Well, I could just sit and commentate. That's what I do, people. This is my thing. Samoa Joe with a great sent on. Late, it's going to knock the wind out of Seth Rollins. Seth, Samoa Joe so dominant, but in the authorities' corner. Not only physically dominant, but also politically dominant. But wait, what is this? Jack Septicai, the newcomer, attacked Seth Rollins last week. Mick Foley said in the stipulation that he said if there was any ambush on Seth Rollins then Joe will be stripped of the title. Oh wait, what is this? Do I... Oh no! Come on Joe! Oh right, do I get in there now? I don't know what to do. Right, let's get the ref down. You saw nothing, all right pal? You see nothing. Not allowed any hammers? Okay. Oh wait, he's ejecting me! Oh no, it's gone wrong for Jack. Does that mean I failed? Told me to ambush. That was smart. Knock the ref down before the ambush commences. That makes sense, right? I'm not being an idiot here. Oh wait, hang on, it's, it seems to be all gone well. It's 
Come here a second. I wanted to say I thought you did decent work tonight. I just draw quick the ref, Joe. That's all I did. Just came in and drop kicked the ref. I mean, I don't want to be too humble, but any idiot could have sort of beat up that referee. It was great to help, though. And don't get me wrong, I didn't need the help. I totally could have won that match by myself. Yeah, sure. Sure. Well, actually, you probably could. Today, we knocked Seth off this game, and that's what matters. See, maybe that was what we were supposed to do. Yeah, fighting alongside you was a thrill. I was thrilled. Were you thrilled? Well, we were all thrilled. Yep, yeah, it has been quite the thrill. Bask in my glow. Oh, we're basking. We're basking in each other's glow. Look at us bask. I'm catching some contact basket. The writing on this is so lame. I'm so sorry, 2K, you lovely lot, but... The writing in this is bums. Treat yourself to a drink and toast on me. Oh, drink and toast me. Not like, here's some drink and here's some toast. I would have liked some drink and toast. Oh, it's ma... Man, say it with me, y'all. Say it with me. Say it loud and proud. It's my man, Matt Rubio. Put in the comments if we should make Matt Rubio merch. Should we have a t-shirt with Matt Rubio's face on it with my man? I think we should do it. I think we should make that t-shirt happen. But did you see who was starting to go? He was starting to go off on one. Yeah, he said five words. Man, man, Matt Rubio. Right. Out of the way, Matt Rubio. Is Paul Heyman going to be... If he does any, if he tries anything, Matt Rubio, jump in. You've got to do way more than you've been doing to even have five minutes of my time, sir. That's what he said last time, I think. Cheers, Paul Heyman, for your love and support. Are we done here? Yeah, we're done. Week three. We're heading to the Rumble, people. That's, that's, I've just realised that. Hey, it's Vince McMahon, damn it. I've been hearing some talk about you, new guy. Only great things, I hope. How are you, sir? Fantastic. Hey, you've been following the Destroyer around, helping out, maybe learning a little bit. Mostly just being there when needed. That's good, pal. That's a decent start to your career, but let me give you a word of advice. Stop holding back. Aggression. Ruthless. Aggression goes a long, long way. Um, what do we say to that? Vince is in full Vince mode. No, he's not going to like that. Um, I agree, there hasn't been, an, there hasn't been enough blood. I have some bloodlust. Yeah, that's Vince. I like the bloodlust. I suggest you let it out. Your tongue has a taste for that. Let everyone know and let them know loudly. I hope this doesn't mean a promo is coming, people. Quite frankly, you need to show more aggression or you won't survive here. Oh, I get it. It's comfortable in the shadow. Some more Joe millennials and all that follows. Sheesh. McMahon hates millennials. He does hate them. He'll have ambition, damn it. I hope you got that, dear. Where do you want to go? Um. Is that a bit much? Yeah, let's, let's, let's take the Triple H route of this. Sir, I'm going to kick my feet up on your desk while reclining in your chair. Now that is some real talk. You're lucky you called me sir when you said so. I have different... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Now, uh, nobody wants to fail. Obviously, you figure if you fail, you're exposed from the stuff. But, right, okay. Ruthless aggression! That's the real moral of the story here. Come on! Use a foreign object, win this match. Ruthless aggression, people, we're gonna do it. Right, okay, cool, right, let's do this. Let's run, people. Ruthless aggression, find, ambush Seth Rollins. Smack him about with a weapon. Seth Rollins, he over here? No, it's just Darren Young, who has since been fired. You in here, Seth? Huh? You know what happens, Seth? You know what happens when you literally do nothing to annoy me? This literally done nothing. It's just existed. Seth, where are you? Hey, it's my man, Matt Rubio. Who's that? Is that Steph? Yeah. Hey, Steph. Oh, go. Oh, she's busy running the company, and right now she's furious. Okay, Steph. See you later. 
find and ambush Seth Rollins. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, well, I'm a man. I didn't realise he was just going to be sat there. Um, oh, do we sneak up behind him? Oh, the <laughs> that guy was just sat playing on his phone. And we just gave him a hot one. Oh, man. <laughs> See you later, sit yourself down, son. Mish, bash, bosh. See you later. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, DDT, you down, son. Probably use some more chairs. Some ruthless aggression. So Fitch McMahon was saying, damn it. Ruthless. Aggression. Uh, Work dog spine. Work there you go, that's enough chair shots probably. I'm always worried that when I pick him up. Oh see, bad stuff happens. Now we're in the boxes. Is this gonna be like the ambushes or do we literally have to get him down to Oh no. Oh no. Oh, rubs! Rubs! Get up, Jack! Get up! No! Oh, that's fine. Is it fine? Come on, Jack, get up! Get up! Don't get your, don't get your butt kicked in front of Stephanie. Why am I not reversing anything? What is wrong with this man? Uh oh, this isn't look good. No, he's not reversing anything. It's like it's my reversal thing is rubbish. Oh, for goodness sake. Get up, Jack. I mean, Seth's probably going to be quite annoyed with us. Oh, fair. Oh, my days, he's just reversing everything. This is yeah. rubbish. We're going to lose. He's breaking our face. Oh, sit down. That's got to be it. That was my finish. I was hit my finish on him. Well, let's hit him with these shells. Smacking Seth Rollins with some flat pack furniture on my third week on the main roster. How'd you like them apples, Seth Rollins? Gonna hit you some more times with these shelves. Um, we, um, that's it. That's we've had. We've had. We've had our fill of the shelves. No more shelf action. Right, please hit this, Jack. Oh, double arm DDT on the concrete. Seth Rollins cannot have much left after this ambush. Stamping, stomping. Oh, big drop kick. I thought we were getting flapjacked then. I thought that was going to be the end of everything. Oh, straight into the barricade. Matt Rubio. Matt Rubio's barricade. And oh, an Irish whip is straight back into the barricade. And it is bad news. Oh, stamina's low. Stamina is low here. Any danger of reversing stuff? Oh, straight into the wall. Jack in trouble here. The NXT champion. Oh, gosh. What's happening to this guy? What is happening to him? Right, so we failed that one. So stupidly, I went to upgrade Jack in between these two plays. And instead of using all my um, VC to find, to increase the reversal attributes and stuff, just bought a bunch of loot crates, which was stupid. So now I've got some Jinder Mahal hats, but still no 
actual reversals. How many more still chair shots is it going to take for you to stay down? Seth freaking Rollins. Split screen beatings for you. I don't want that. Right, I'll tell you what, he's going to clean him out. And that's this, this briefcase. You like a briefcase, don't you, Seth? Well, have a little bit of summer at me, old son. Woohoo! Right, please don't reverse this finish here. That has got to be it. Yes! That's it. Yes! Ruthless aggression, pal! Look at these security with their walkie talkies. Right, I think that's going to be it for this episode. But we've not really done much apart from. <laughs> apart from wind up Seth Rollins and beat him up. I'm fine with that though. Uh, guys, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure that you enter our 100k subscriber battle royal. I hope you've all had a lovely time. Let us know what you think in the comments. And should we wait to see what happens here? Or should we just include this in the next episode? Oh, it's Todd. Obviously, has he got to say anything important? No match for you tonight. Right, okay, definitely time to end the episode. Go talk to Stephanie Go. She wants to see you. I don't want she looks like she's in a really good mood. Well, she was furious last time I spoke to her. You're only three weeks in, you've got her beaming. Sideways eyes emoji. Right, okay, that's it for this episode. See you for the next one. Bye!